cut out my template. I'm a little bit off center. I'm a little bit to the right, um, but that's okay. And so I could create two ridges here by by folding it and ironing it, um, felting it, stitching it, all three. Um, really, if you stitch it, you don't have to do too much else. Oh, I have your head a little bit in the way, sorry. <laughs> You may not work comfortably. <laughs> so stitching it is definitely the best, um, best way to make sure that it stays. So you would just, you would just um, thread a needle, take it up under here, and then just go back and forth through there. Something in a thread that coordinates. That's Milo trying to get comfortable. <laughs> Um, so then this, Milo had asked me, can you, um, mark your, um, mark your fabric and then if you have a marker that works, Well, I was can. wondering on the layout. Oh, like the if layout. you mark the pre felt yeah, just I, so you know, kind of where to put you your stuff. To. You could fold this in half and fold this in half and do it that way. Like there's a lot of different, you could pin it and cut it. I think I'm just gonna hold it in place and cut it. That, that's cause you're brave at cutting your things. Some of us get very <laughs> nervous. And these legs, they don't have to, this, they can flail out to the side a little bit more. Um, but I'm gonna start by, uh, Putting this section out. Some sewer person. What the frick? What? <laughs> what just happened? Well, like it wouldn't cut, and then all of a sudden, like, cut my finger. <laughs> I mean, good scissors. It, it was like it wouldn't. It's. It feels like. Oh. What? Yeah. I was like, it feels like it doesn't want to close. Close all the way. There we go. Um. I'm cooking now. I just had a little mini panic that I cut something off <laughs> that, I, that I needed. I wonder if people can hear me writing. <laughs> I wonder if they can hear our stomachs growl. I think I'm going to put a little bit more um, information on the template that I have right now, for example, these will be marked for you. You have to make some cuts. You have to make a cut here, a cut here, because some of this kind of wraps around the belly a little bit. So these are kind of angled back. You might have to cut here a little bit. Oh, oh. I know. Sorry, Froggy. <laughs> and here. And you kind of don't know until you put it, put it on. Um. <laughs> this is so funny. So I'll just cut some of this extra off. Now I was, I was leaving it there until I could see what was what. Why are frogs so happy? They are happy. Are they happy? I don't know. Do we know that? Why? We're assuming. They eat whatever bugs them. Ooh, that's a, that's a good way to live. <laughs> Take them all down. <laughs> all right. That's a good one. <laughs> Words of wisdom. <laughs> oh, look, it's a frog. It's like he's just like waiting for his, to jump into his skin. That's what, that's how this works. So 
So you can put this on and start to kind of feel where everything is. I've got some kind of catty wampus. I'm, I'm still crooked, but that's okay. It's very forgiving. And you can even get it stuck before you make your final cuts. See, because you can start to feel like, uh, you know, there's a lot of excess. So I've got to cut it here, here, here to get it to wrap around. Um, and then you also want to fringe out all the edges. So let me put him this way. Do some cutting. I'm going to make this all a bit smaller. Does not need these 10 foot long arms. So I'm cutting it about to the wrist. I don't quite have that area on what? the camera. There, it's a little bit. <laughs> That's better, that is it. Okay, and then if I flip him this way, get his legs kind of into his little <laughs> pants here. Um, I can cut some of this out, a little bit more of this. Everybody's frog is going to be a little bit different, so it's good to have some wiggle room here. And then I'm definitely going to have to cut in here and in here so we can wrap around. And here. And here, same thing. And you can kind of start to see what's going to work. You know, like he, he just needs to get his little clothes on is basically what's going to happen. You can take some of these edges off. Wherever you have a ton of <coughs> Okay. Now, I need to fringe all of this out, so I kind of stabbed it on there. I'm going to pull it off. <laughs> Watch the video first. <laughs> and then Yet again. it really helps to have a dog brush, um, something toothy that's going to grab, grab the edges so that you don't have a chunk. I'm trying to... Whoop. I just zoomed really fast, but I really want people to see... See how straight that is? Yeah. And then now we're gonna fuzz it. Definitely need the fuzz. Yeah, you definitely need the fuzz. The fuzz is your friend. Pretty much every edge. And we're gonna do the bottom. I try to avoid doing it on my stab it because I feel like it weakens the the stab it. What's happening? I'm trying to move. And then we're going to do the top. Keep getting Ooh. your head. How? I might, I'm, I know, I'm <laughs> moving. You can't figure it out. <laughs> so weird. I know. We're having like weird filming juju. It's because we want a new tripod. We do. We're gonna switch it up next time. This for is you guys. this is why. We needed this difficulty to prompt us to yes, make the change. It's in the cart. All right. So both sides. Both sides, nice and fuzzy. Oh, dokey. <laughs> It's such a funny little project. He's like kind of practically done. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, poof! So if I start on the back, then I know it's centered. I can really get this ridge established. 
What do you call an illegally parked frog? I don't know. What? Toad. <laughs> I should have had that one. You can start by bringing the belly around. I think I'm pretty sure I do the top first. And then do your um, and then do your belly piece. I'm it's so it comes together so seamlessly that I don't even know how it's done. So here you want to fold this in to there's a little crease but where the wire armature is in the lower lip and that piece that you put on on the upper lip. So you want to tuck that in to that. If you could move up like two inches, it'd be great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It just focused actually on your hair and not the project, oh so I figured gosh. we had to shift. That's terrible. What kind of operation are we running here? I don't know. So I have to cut this deeper so that it can come into, um, into meat everything. Now, when you wrap the limb... Um, let me think. I would do what's facing forward first. So we're coming towards the front of the body. So that the piece that goes towards the back of the body, I think it'll look a little more blend a little bit better. It really just like, it's amazing how it comes together. Like, can you see that? I mean, you pretty much are you can't get, see Are you getting this? I'm trying. <laughs> I love this um, aqua and gold together. It's really, really cool. Yeah, like even here, you it just It just scenes. blends. Yeah. You ha you're gonna have a moment of doubt, and you then are. it's a little. And then know, it's like whoa. It's like like here, for example, that's not great. Oh, you know what I did that I didn't do was um cut. I'm remembering this now. I cut a slit where the eye bumps were to see if I could kind of get the eye bumps to poke through, but they're not really, they're a little bit subtle, so it's not really, not really gonna work. But it does help you kind of stretch, stretch the face yep. around and shape around yep. where the eye bumps were. So this is not ideal, like right here, but I'm not gonna panic, I'm just gonna fuzz it out. Felt it down. And then I have um, I have extra fiber. I have a little bit of that. Even from what you cut, I have found you can pull off the the like, edges of it. If you so I have a little bit of that blend that we made. If you even pull off some of the top of what was felted, of it what just was felted, goes, yeah. yeah, it just goes right. And on. then I can just fill in that little hole. And there's going to be a lot of that, so. This is a little, even though it's a little kind of magical, the way it comes together, it's a little time consuming. So I want to go towards the front of the body first, and this is a bit much here. I think the seam ripper could also be your friend here. Kind of pull some stuff away without, you know, cutting it. So I'm going to go towards the front of the body first. Then I can 
Politik. This piece and go towards the back of the body. I thought I felt that down already. Maybe it just, maybe it just popped off. So anywhere that things don't meet up great, you, well, we'll wait and see where our bottom, what our bottom piece covers. Okay, so on these big old legs, I want to go this way first. I think I want to take a little bit of this off. It's a bit much. Ripping is way better than cutting yeah. here. Because then you're back to a straight edge that you need to mm -hmm. fuzz out. Okay, to get nice and deep into this, I mean his leg goes all the way up here. So to get nice and deep into that, I'm going to cut this a little bit more. That way I can just get right all up in there. It's like he's getting his little chaps on. And their legs are like really big and muscular, so adding this, I don't mind adding this bulk on here, although I am going to just take a little bit of this off. What, what do you call a frog hanging from the ceiling? I don't know what. Mistletoad. <laughs> what a toad happening. Mm -hmm. Put on your little pants. Feels like a proverb time to me. Wonder Ooh, if I have good. any left. He who invites storks must have frogs in the house. Mm. For them to eat? I, I don't know. It's a German proverb. He who invites storks must have frogs. Do storks eat frogs? That's like a thing? I don't know. I would think maybe they do. I don't know. This one's better. When the master is absent, the frogs hop into the house. <laughs> They're just stealing the cats away. Mice will play. Yes. So if they feel like it's not sticking quite as much, just keep roughing, kind of roughing yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, it should stick. Especially you can, once we get the bottom on, then you can start um, putting little like pieces of wool and, and felting it on and that really, that really holds it. Cool, like this process, you know, I did the big giraffe this way. We're going to do, we did the tortoises um, in the workshop this way. So it, it it's kind of exciting. We did the tigers this way. Mm. So, because you can get such an elaborate, fun 
skin with wet felting. You you can't do that with needle felting. It just, I mean. The silk and the naps, there's no. Yeah, you can't do the silk and the naps. And then I feel like when you try to needle felt a ton of detail, like the tiger stripes or, um, well, the giraffe, it was just expedited the process, really. That would have been impossible for me to make. You'd still be making it. I'd still be making it. So, and then it can get, to me, a little kind of overworked looking when um, when it's all stabbed. You know, tight little details are, are stabbed. I feel like it just starts to look, um, it loses a little bit of the, the effortlessness that exists in nature, you know, and um, exists in the fiber. So just a, it's a nice alternative technique to have. Well, and cer certain critters lend themselves mm -hmm. to it. All right, let's get the bottom on here. That is starting to look good. <laughs> um, I want a little extra to play with up around the chin here. So I can use this again, like I can, you know, cut this down further. Well, you don't want to cut it until you do your second frog, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it in place. I'm just going to come cut the edges. Start by just cutting all these little corners off. See where I am here. How far do I want? Don't want this to go quite that far. And end up kind of all right. So we've got this to go there. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll include a second template. We haven't made these kits yet, so there's some, you know, or like on the other side. I don't know. I mean. This piece or is I could, so much easier to cut than the yeah, yeah. legs. So we definitely want to fringe this all out, all the way around. Top and bottom again. Mm -hmm. want this to come like up around the side I want it to stay pretty much on the bottom of the on the bottom of the frog you're not really necessarily doing anything special where the edges meet not yet I, I think I'm gonna put um, there'll, there'll be a little little like kind of fiber cover-ups and blending and okay. stuff with a little I'm gonna mix a color that's gonna help do that and then here I want this to tuck into and you can feel it tuck into where that armature is under there and that's gonna make his smile Sorry if my head is in the way. You're gonna want a reference picture at this point because when once we get this on, it becomes a lot of sculpting on the face. And it really helps to, to look at a picture and know what you're going for. <laughs> so, so roadkill, so funny. Passed one on a walk this morning yet again. A dead frog? Yeah, pushed Aww. on the road. I know, it was very sad. I think cats get them sometimes, it was sad.
Okay, now wherever things are meeting or not meeting, as the case may be, I'll just make a little blend. Sprout is great to get in there because it's used all over, so it'll just make myself a little pile of fiber to use to hold everything together. So like right in here, for example. So you're both covering kind of a hole and really holding stuff down. Yeah, even. I had a hole there. And so like here too, where this let all these three seams come together. So the fiber is further holding things down, covering a hole. Blending a seam mm -hmm. all at once. just a lot of it's a lot of stabbing hmm his fingers I know. <laughs> he's just in this like help me face <laughs> like you help me stab me to life chuckling about our neighbor just came in <laughs> and got all distracted by one of my um, figure drawings. It was pretty fun. It's a distracting figure. It's very come come hither. He <laughs> couldn't remember what he, he wanted had a to question and he was like, whoa, <laughs> nice drawing. Uh, I love these naps. In some creatures, the nips make all the difference. Oh my gosh. It's, um, we did, um, wet felt his skins on the rhinos with the tiny little locks to make the wrinkles. It, it's just, I love the concept of the fiber suiting the project and doing the work. And, yep, it's just really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. You he looks so dead at the moment. Don't worry, buddy. I got gotcha. you. You could put a little sprout at the bottom of the limbs if you needed to, but I feel like this is blending mm -hmm. pretty well. Okay, I'm going to stop fussing with all that because I feel like you get the idea. And we're going to finish the face. That's what what we're going to do. I need one piece of patch here. And I can see if I can kind of get in there, get this attached. It's a little floaty. He, he's gonna look a lot happier with eyes. Yes. There we go. It's better. And like you can, you know, you can give him like a, a little bump here like he's croaking. Okay. I need a reference picture. You have reference pictures up and there are a lot of different They're frogs. so different. And I, you know, I don't 
have this whole, like, I didn't do a ton of frog versus toad research. Sometimes we do a lot of animal research. So honestly, I don't know what I'm making. Well, a frog toad purist might decide they want to make a specific kind. Yes, they might. Yes. Oh my gosh, there's ones with red eyes, yellow eyes. I've been sticking to the yellow eyes and I'm using the butterscotch that's in the, in the kit. And I just want to make an eyeball. So this is maybe a little bit much, maybe about three inches, two to three inches split in half. Um, and I'm gonna go around um, my middle sized. Well, we don't know what we're calling these yet. I don't think we know yet. Maybe Pindle. You heard it here first, people. Mm -hmm. Frogs have moist, slimy skin. Toads have dry, bumpy skin. That's the best way to tell them apart. And is there, I mean, I'm sure there's a difference in their, like, lifestyle. Frogs are swingers. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> frogs are more amphibious. They're all amphibious. They're both amphibious. Usually we are the wealth of information, I'm looking. but I'm just, I'm just... I'm just felting today. Oh, technically toads are a kind of frog. Ah, interesting. It was kind of like the turtle versus tortoise scenario. Frogs spend most of their lives in or near water. Toads get out on land a little more and find their way into gardens and yards. Yes, we used to have a lot of toads in the wells around the basement. You know when basement windows used to have that like well that like dug out thing around it so that yes. water doesn't, yeah. We used to find toads and they liked kind of sandy soil. Frog eggs are found in a mass, toad eggs are more in a chain and toads cannot give you warts. Yeah, I never believed it. I held them a lot. So I put my little seed into that cut that I made and I'm just making sure I get it nice and round and eyeball like I'm using I'm using a 36 but I'm going to switch to my I'm sorry 38 but I'm going to switch to my 40 and lately I've been using the 42 a lot I hadn't I hadn't really used that much before yeah now the 42 really comes in handy in these little eye details their eyeballs do all different kinds of things. <gasps> what? Do you know what's not in the supply pack? Black, Black. for the eye? Mm -hmm. Well, then we need we, that. We must to add it. <laughs> You're going to get this much. <laughs> it's all you need. We're going to get this much black. I think they look most typically frog-like if you go a horizontal... Um, People. They've got round ones, vertical ones. This is my my take. Okay, so frogs have long, powerful legs, and a toad's back legs are much shorter, not as strong. Ah. They don't hop as much. I'm definitely making a frog then. You're making a bit of a combo because <gasps> what? Well, frogs have smooth, moist skin. Well, he's, and toads have... He could be smooth and moist. It's just because he's made he's out of wool. He's got a little bumpy. That's okay. Frogs have teeth. Toads are teeth free. Wow. Who knew? Google knew. So here is interesting. And here you can play with where things like according to your reference picture, they might have a little bit of a smile or like how far back this goes. Now I need to make, I want to make a little brow. So I'm going to use my mixed up color that I made 
and I'm going to make a double decker taco. And what I'm figuring out is that it's easier to make one and rip it in half. Because hmm. I, I just end up not getting... They're different? I don't know. You can do this. You could take this and take that same tool. There's a couple ways to do this. And go around like three times. Slide it off. So now you've got some fringe, although that's too much fringe. And you've got your rounded edge. And so you've got your brow with fringe. So that's one way. This is alternate. Double decker taco time. So that ended up about an inch wide. But I can just shape his little brow. And then it's fun to make him, like you can make one eye winking, or you can make both his eyes opened. I love what's going on in the back of his head, so I'm gonna get rid of as much of this fringe as possible so that you can really see it all. But I feel like it's more frog-like to have this bulky, um, rounded eye, eye socket, eyebrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He definitely needed that eye. <laughs> well, those eyes. My right side's always worse. Definitive mouth shape here. Go go up an inch or two. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my gosh, he's so funny. cracking me up okay those legs are great yeah he's and then there's you've got to pose him like frog leg like their little their little hands stick in their little elbows stick out that's a, the, should have been more a part of my frog dance <laughs> um they have sometimes a little detail back here like it's like a why don't you look up what that is what? What is that even Is it called? their ear? I don't know, but it's fun to make it a nice bright color or white or something contrasting. So if I wrap it on this tool, then I'll get a nice circle. They have a 360 degree view of their surroundings because their eyes stick out so much. Yeah, keeps them safe. So you got that little thing. What else, what other details do we need? Sometimes they have frog ear a nose is the circle you see behind a frog's eyes yeah that's what that's what I just made right there and the shape of their nose is different like depending on what you're making there's ones with round ones pointy ones they're all, all different all different ways I'm trying to think what else a little white in the eye is good When you get your kit, look in the bottom of it. There's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll give you a little more. Than that. 
but you have enough. But a little white dot to make probably to all the eyes you need eye to dots. make for the rest of your life. So the forty-two, that much. Whoops. This is the this better is than the forty-two. The, not better, but that much gentler well, than the forty. Well, what happens? It's gentler, yeah, and so it doesn't dent the thing in. It just puts it, you know, felts it into place. Sorry if my head is in the way. The 40 gets it stuck. See, on this side, I need the 40 because I, I have a little bit much wool and I hmm. want to get it stuck in there. And then the 42 just smooths it out. So, I mean, I have some, like, stabbing and smoothing to do. But I feel like I have a little bit, you yeah, every, a little bit on the legs. Every step. Step. Yes, a little bit on the legs. I'm gonna do some stabbing on the belly. So just some sculpting, some shaping. Yeah, maybe, you know, there's a few spots where I might need a little more of the um, blend away blending the line. fiber. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's not like, I mean, if you want a strong line, that's fine, but it's more about really making sure everything sticks and um, there's been times in the tortoise, I think, that we even stitched. Yeah. But this doesn't, it shouldn't need it. I'm really happy with his. Oh, he's cool. With him. Yeah. Milo, we totally did it. Totally. Totally. Yeah. It, it, it looks really good. Once I get past the toes, I, I really enjoy this project. Yes, you enjoyed it. It was great. I just enjoy it. So we uh, we hope you will try it out and share your frogs or toads on Serafina Felting Fanfare, which is our Facebook group full of support and information. Um, what else? We're gonna. I, I don't know if there's anything else to say. Yeah. I think it's I think just... you hit every joke and proverb on the internet. I mean, so. pro probably there's a few that. That just weren't up to par. Right. So yeah, because our standard is so high. Yes. Very, very true. I need to dance. I think that's all that's left to do. Just dance out of here.